Hi. Welcome to McLean Hospital. How can I help you? I'm, I'm Amanda. I'm checking in. Okay. Amanda, we were expecting you. Do you have your insurance and your license with you so I can make a copy? Um, yeah. I was so relieved when my psychiatrist arranged for me to come to the Clinical Evaluation Center at McLean. I had been feeling so out of control. I was super nervous about being evaluated for possible admission to a mental health hospital, but this first part wasn't so bad. It's kind of like a visit to urgent care. They took my information so they could talk to my insurance company, and they told me that someone would come get me for the evaluations. I was glad I wasn't the only person going through this process. I didn't feel so alone. Billy? We're ready to get started. All right, let's go. I had gone to my outpatient psychiatrist here at McLean because I'd been feeling so depressed. He suggested we walk over to the clinical evaluation center. My wife came to support me while I spoke with everyone. The mental health specialist explained that they store my personal belongings for my safety and the safety of those around me. She told me my things would come with me if I was admitted to a program. Protect other people's privacy, you're not gonna be able to keep it on you. So I'm just gonna label it with um, his name and whenever you need it, just let us know and we'll give it back to you, okay? Yeah. So lastly, I'm just gonna wand you. If you can just step aside, please. Yeah, keep your hands out, thank you. So now we're gonna start your intake process. I like to start by giving you this welcome packet to McLean, and it just lets you know a little bit about the hospital and the history of it. I've also included the policy on privacy in there as well, which just states that we're gonna respect your privacy while you're here with us. So this is for you. There's lots of paperwork to fill out, but she explained it so I didn't have to make sense of it on my own. I know the staff can't share my private information with anyone without my permission. I made sure to sign the form so they could discuss my care with my wife. Hi Amanda, uh, my name's Sandy, I'm one of the nurses. I just want to um, talk to you for a few minutes and uh, could you just tell me a bit about what brought you into the hospital today? Um, I've been feeling really anxious and um out of control. Um, and did you come here on the advice of a therapist or? Mm -hmm. My psychiatrist. A psychiatrist. I could see why this takes some time. They really paid attention to what was happening to me. There were a lot of questions, but I knew the more I could tell them, the more they could help me. My brain won't stop going. Like, mm -hmm. I can't, like, slow it down. Okay. Can you tell me how long this has been going on? Um, like a week. A week. The nurse said they used the information to create a plan for my treatment and to figure out what program is best for me. I asked about what it was like at a treatment program, and the nurse explained about individual and group therapy and the support I would get from my treatment team. I wondered why they do an exam like a physical with my doctor. The nurse practitioner said they want to make sure there aren't any physical issues that might make it harder to improve my mental health. Push down on your arms, push up against me. Excellent, okay. Put them down by your side. So can you tell me a little bit more about your anxiety? The clinician asked a lot of questions about how I was feeling and about my recent symptoms. We talked for a while about why being admitted was the best option for me. It's kind of like right in my chest area, like, um, sometimes I feel nauseous. It was so helpful to be reminded that I'm a partner in my mental health care, a part of my own treatment team. This isn't happening to me, it's happening for me. Have you ever been to a hospital before for an evaluation? No. So this is your first time here to consider hospitalization? Yeah. As the evaluation started to wrap up, I was worried about being admitted to McLean, but I was ready to start my recovery.